I'm Barbara Dacey from MVY Radio, and I'm here at the Cisco Ottawa Blues Fest with Jose Gonzalez, who's going to play a, a set tonight, the first night of the festival. Very nice to meet you. And uh, where where were you before this? Where were you uh, before you came today? Well, it's the uh, last show on a Canada tour, and uh, so I've been to Calgary, Halifax, Quebec, Saskatoon. Yeah, yeah, pretty much everywhere. You can even say it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first time in Canada? Uh, no, I've been around a couple of times. Yeah. When, when I've been on tour in the US, we usually go to Vancouver, Montreal and, and Toronto. Yeah. So this is uh, second time here in Ottawa. Yeah. So you have a, a, a big audience in Canada? Uh, I don't, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm able to fill up shows, but yeah, still the growing crowds. Yeah. yeah. And you're, uh, you were born in Sweden? And uh, you're of Argentinian descent, is yeah, that right? Yeah, exactly. My both my parents are from Argentina, but I was born in Sweden and lived there all my life. Uh -huh. So Swedish is my first language, and I speak Spanish and English. Of course. How did music uh, come into your life? Uh, your were your your parents musical and and love music? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, well, we listened to a lot of music at home. No one played an instrument, though. Uh, my dad used to sing a little, but. Uh, I picked up the guitar when I was 14 and practically started learning guitar on my own at first. Then later started playing classical guitar and so, so yeah, I guess the sort of Latin American music has been influencing part of what I do today. Yeah, it's really nice to hear yeah, the, the classical guitar sound. Um, and you, you play a nylon string guitar exclusively, or do you do you sometimes play steel string, or is it just nylon string? Well, I, I used to play bass and electric guitar, but yeah, since I released my first album in uh, 2003, I've been playing nylon string guitar, and that's what I sort of do best. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful sound, and uh, it's interesting to hear the, the music that you do uh, with a classical guitar. I mean, not that many people in pop music play nylon string guitar yeah that's the thing I mean in Latin America that's sort of like the most common instrument like everybody plays nylon string guitar yeah but uh, in Sweden it's more common with the steel string guitar or or, uh, or like just indie rock bands playing electric guitar so so yeah in, in that part of the world it's not as common yeah. so um, you released an album last year 2007 called uh, in our nature it's your, your second album yeah and sure. and the album before that veneer was that an album or an EP no, that was an album an album was, too yeah. yeah so yeah two albums yeah so a lot a lot has happened for you um, since the, the release of that that album in 2007 uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, for me, it's been like, uh, I mean, ever since I released my first album, it's been changing a lot of my life. Uh, at first, it was only in Sweden that people knew about me. And after that, I started doing shows outside of Sweden. And it's just recently, like last year, that I started touring around the States and here in Canada. that People got to know me through both albums. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting that the the songs, a couple of the songs that were, were big for you, the song "Teardrop" and "Heartbeats." I mean, those those are both songs by bands that you admire and, yeah, and wanted yeah. to. It's interesting to hear you do you know music by yeah. Massive Attack and, yeah. and just to hear what you how you interpret it. Yeah, no, I mean it's always been fun to to pick some, uh, some of my favorite songs and do them in my own versions. Uh, it's I'm a very slow writer, so it's an easy way to just get going with the music and just, you know, when I don't have enough songs for an album or a live set, I, I use a cover or two to please the people. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it does, it, it forms a real connection for people. If people do um, kind of recognize the song or something in yeah. them or, you know, and, and some familiarity that you're, you know, in touch with, but then you bring your own, yeah, exactly. your own uh, feeling to it. It's yeah. nice. What about, are you now thinking about a new album or are you just touring? Have you started thinking well, about? Well, yeah, after this summer, I'm gonna stay home and, and start writing again. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm a slow writer, so I don't know when when my next album will be out. And I'll, I'll probably make a, an album with my band also, Junip, which yes. is with organ and drums, uh, slightly more, uh, slightly louder. So, probably do that. Before you make a, a solo album. Yeah, yeah. 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 Great. We're looking forward to your set uh, tonight. We were, can't wait to hear it. And um, you're here on the be a beautiful setting here too on yeah. the on the the river uh, in Ottawa. 
Yeah, very nice. <laughs> very nice to have the chance to meet you and, and talk a little bit. Yeah. Good luck with everything. Thank you for having me.